everyone i'm krishna i'm back with a new topic today first of all let me uh, welcome you to my channel and uh, i'm back with a new topic and today's topic is from unit 8 of meanings into words and the name of unit 8 is advantage and disadvantage in my earlier videos i have discussed uh, many grammatical topics of uh, meanings into words and today i will be teaching you how to use out to plus v1 out not to plus v1 might as well plus v1 and there is no point in plus v4 uh, students i have uploaded many videos of meanings into words i think you might have watched all these videos and if you find these videos useful please uh, don't forget to share among your friends and subscribe my channel as well okay let me share the next slide as i have said that today's class is of the use of out to plus v1 out not to plus v1 might as well plus v1 and there is no point in plus v4 the first structure that we are going to use in this exercise is subject plus out to plus v1 okay what does it mean it means very strict order for doing something okay the simplest speaking it means it should be done uh, first of all we read the questions after reading the questions we identify which structure is to be used in that questions if we find there is some strict order uh, to do something or um, particular thing should be done or must be done then we use the first structure uh, subject plus out to plus v1 and how to find out the subject okay subject is given in the questions and i will tell you how to find out the subject yeah, sometimes what happens it is not easy for the students to find out the subject from the questions i will tell you how to find out the second structure is subject plus out not to plus v1 it means very strict order for not doing that particular thing it means it should not be done we read the questions and when we read the questions we uh, identify the particular thing should not be done if we do that thing it will cause negative consequence or it will cause bad impacts so we must not do that thing okay and third structure is might as well plus v1 to advise doing something often when there is nothing better to do or there is no strong desire to do uh, we can do the uh, things uh, okay uh, but there is no strong desire to do and when we do the things uh, there will be no bad effects or there will be no bad consequence uh, it it is the structure of subject plus might as well plus v1 and the last structure is there is no point in plus v4 doing anything is useless or futile or there is no advantage of doing that particular thing we read the questions and after reading the questions so we can find that after doing the action there is no advantage okay we don't get any advantage of doing that particular work then uh, this structure can be used there is no point in plus before let's have a look some questions okay there are seven questions and there are seven answers of these questions the first questions is don't take your children to see that film it will frighten them okay now look at the question first of all these questions gives orders uh, to somebody that not to take the children to see that film okay if they take their children to see that film that film will frighten them it means the action should not be done so we, we use the second structure to subject plus out not to plus v1 okay so uh, where is the subject subject is not given in the uh, question but we find when there is your children then subject must be you okay you out not to it is in the formula take is v1 okay v1 is given in the question and your children to see that 
film uh, this is enough okay and what you think that you must know is that the the sentence that is written after hyphen okay so this is uh, the hyphen and what is written after it it is not necessary to be written in the answer uh, we should not use it in the answer it is very useful to to help us find which structure is going to be used in the question but it is not necessary uh, to be written in the answer so second question let's see let's not sell it it is not worth anything anyway uh, it is not worth anything anyway means what it is valueless it is not valuable let's not sell it okay if we sell it also we don't get any advantage uh, from it okay so it is meaningless uh, that is why we use the fourth structure there is no point in selling it okay there is no point it is in the uh, formula there is no point in it is in the formula b4 because it is b1 uh, in the question we make it b4 by adding inc and i it, it is there okay there is no point in selling it third question why don't we give it away it is not worth anything anyway okay so it is better to give because it is valueless it is not valuable if we keep it also it does not give us any advantage that is why we can uh, give it that is why we use the might as well plus b1 and subject is we okay we begin uh, the sentence by using we we might as well uh, it is in the uh, formula and give give means we want it is here we might as well give it away uh, let's see the fourth questions don't ask him he does not speak english okay if we ask him also in english language he cannot reply the answer because he does not know how to speak english so to ask him uh, in english language is meaningless okay so we use the fourth structure there is no point in asking him ask is b1 in the um, uh, question and when we change it into b4 then we make it asking fifth question why don't you take a pullover you have got plenty of room in your case okay so in your case if you have uh, enough room then you can take pullover so uh, it is better to take uh, you might as well take a pullover uh, subject is you because it is, it is you in the question so it is not difficult to find out the subject so sixth question is let's not talk about it now the children are listening okay um, if the matter is very confidential then it is not better uh, to be uh, discussed when children are listening so uh, we uh, it uh, it means it should not be done so what is the subject in this question there is no subject if you see the question you cannot find the subject but one thing you must understand in this in this situation if there is let's so we can use subject to we okay we out not to talk about it now the last question is let's not argue about it that won't solve the problem okay so if we do arguments it won't solve the problem it won't be the solution of the problems it there is no advantage of doing arguments so there is no advantage of doing arguments it is meaningless so we can use the last structure there is no point in arguing about it and this is all about of how to use how to how not to might as well plus v1 and there is no point in plus v4 if you find this video useful please share among your friends and if you have any questions and queries please don't forget to keep them in my comment box i will try my best to uh, answer your queries and questions i will be back with a new topic from the meanings into words very quickly or very soon see you soon thank you for watching this video bye bye